kids better enjoy these last few weeks. Your dad's job's almost finished. Did you say weeks? It's the old engineering game, son. You don't build a hydroelectric plant overnight. I'm uh, homesick. I want to go back to California. I want to breathe smog. I want to have my mind polluted with rock and roll and mingle with trendy L.A. chicks and watch MTV and cruise the boulevard. Four months in the shadow of the Sphinx changes a man's priorities. Listen to this, kids. In approximately one hour and 45 minutes, there's going to be an alignment of six planets that hasn't happened in over 10,000 years. Wow, Dad. It's all set. All you have to do is push this button right here, all right? Okay. Everybody smile. All right. Smith. Smith, come here. Come on. Come, come on, Smitty. Thank you very much. Dad, this is Doc Man, and he's a custom tour guide. He's going to take us on a special tour of the pyramid for only $10 American. I would like to present you with this brochure of myself. It is quite impressive. See? Wait a minute now. You know John Wayne and Humphrey Bogart? Very well. Also the King Elvis. And President Johnson. And Jimmy Carter. All of them I have guided on special tour of Great Pyramid. Right. See, other tours guide you to King's Chambers. On this special day, Ahmed take you to Chamber of Ardil, here. When first constructed, it was covered with white limestone and capped with thinly beaten gold. Like a shining star on Earth, it could be seen from the moon. How do you know? Please shut up. So, this place is the tomb of the Pharaoh? No man knows the secrets of the Great Pyramid. Yeah. All right, nothing to be afraid of. They're just insect-eating mammals. Not these bad. Uh, 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 let's just keep on going. What is this ch chamber of the ordeal we're going to? What was its purpose, its, its significance? I cannot answer that which no man knows. Is that what you told Elvis? <laughs> This is it, the Chamber of our deal. Now you must pay me ten dollars American. We already paid you. Yes, but you must pay me again. It is an old trick. We'll pay you when we get back on top. That's a new trick. I don't trust you. That's fair enough, Buster. Because I don't intend to pay you one penny more. Uh oh, oh my god. Ahmed, and on the light. Where'd you get that? She's been smoking in her room at night. Shut up. I have not. Give me that light. Here, I've got a flashlight. What is it, honey? Oh, it's bad. I'll get it. Smith, get back here. Smith! Yeah! What the hell is going on here?
walked all night. How far we had come toward what I couldn't say. Only one thing was certain. We were very far away from anything familiar. And all we could do now was to keep moving. Egypt anymore. I'm starting to get a little worried. Maybe it has something to do with that alignment of planets. Didn't I tell you kids this was going to be a memorable outing? Hey, the hotel is probably right over the next hill. Mom, I have to go in the bathroom. <laughs> Man, are we glad to see you. Explain. Oh, believe me, I wish I could. We're lost. I don't know where we are. Your identification. All right. I don't think this is what you want, but my California driver's license, my social security card, but... I said your identification, your card, you're in a forbidden zone. Look, you don't understand. We don't know what you're talking about. We're lost. We need help. Maybe you can do something for us. Get in. I said get in! Oh, I got his gold for his gun! Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, are you alright? I'm okay. I'm alright. Oh. Is he dead? Oh. No. No. He's just unconscious. Look. This man is a soldier or a cop or something. We gotta get out of here. Let's go. Get in that thing. Come on, let's move. Come on. How do you start this thing? From the way it moved, it looked like some kind of magnetic impulsion system, an underground track. I wonder... Hold on. Dad, you do know how to stop this thing, don't you? smoke now listen kids this is really important when we get down there don't say anything mom we're not dumb People look okay. They seem friendly. Maybe we could talk to someone. We can't take the chance. Check out these ladders. Things are everywhere. They're really bizarre. I wonder where they go. I don't know. Get in line there. 
Move along. It's getting late. Move along. Move along. Just get in line and act like we're supposed to be here. Yes? What's this? I've already done my quota. I don't like this one bit. That's all right. We'll come back tomorrow. There's no problem, really. Where am I supposed to put you? I don't know. That's your job to figure that out, isn't it? All right. After all this time, I should expect this kind of abuse. It never fails. Just when I get things in order, they throw some extras at me. I know exactly what you mean. And don't think Fabrique isn't going to hear about this. The minute I'm finished with you, I'm going down there, and I'm going to give him a piece of my mind. All right, go, go. The orientation hall, right down the street. Hi, I'm Coca Lytton. I'm the governor of this province. I'd like to welcome all of you to Sarlex. I'm sure we'll have a long and a productive relationship. Everyone should now have a packet which contains your housing and your occupational assignments. If there should be any problems, please feel free to call my office. I'm not going to keep you long, because I know that today is the very first day of your new lives. And you're probably excited. I guess we're all new here, huh? We have a question back there? Come on, stand up and give us your name. Don't be shy. Hal Sterling's the name. I was just saying that I guess we're all new here. Well, everyone except for me and the uh, monitor there. Where did we come from? <laughs> <laughs> I hope your assignment's a philosopher. That's, uh, that's a little deep for me. I mean, did we all come through the pyramid? The what? I was just saying that my family and I are sure looking forward to starting our new lives here. Thank you. Now, if you'll all open your folders, you'll find the address of your new homes. Hello? Anybody here? This is it. One, three, two, three, three, B Street. I don't get it. They've assigned us to this house. Obviously, they think we're somebody else. You've exceeded your quarter again. Now, how am I supposed to do my job? I don't know what you're talking about. With the exception of replacements, you're not supposed to be sending me entire families. Isn't that a nice... You're always going off the graph. But this is the worst, since down. you sent me that entire crew of spectra miners. You're crazy. Bork, check the records and see who inspected Gad when he was first fabricated. Release your hat. You could be defective. Next time this happens, I'm taking it downstairs. Houses and jobs don't grow on trees. They have to be manufactured, too. Get out of here. Go get your unit checked. Just don't let it happen again. Now relax. And get your own unit checked. Isn't that nice? Doesn't that feel good? These are our assignments. They've given me a job in the newspaper print shop. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. I don't know who they think we are, but... Well, what about us? We got jobs, too? No. Nope. They've got you going to school. You and Trace and Smith. What do they say about Mom? She's still going to be a veterinarian? Uh, no. While we're here, your mother's assignment is going to be housewife. I know what this is. It's a time warp back to the 50s. How about this? You think we should get rid of it? I don't know. I thought you were going to sleep. I don't want to be up there alone. I want to be with you. What are you doing? I'm starting a diary. It makes me think it's not going to be over soon.
I didn't want to let on how worried I really was. By some mysterious twist of time and space, we had passed into another reality, some other world. Tomorrow, we would take our assigned places in this society. That's all we could do for now. Whether we would ever see home again, I couldn't say. That's why I'm keeping this diary. In case we don't make it, I want to leave a record behind so that someone will know our story. Mesra to Canto 41. This is uh, one of my favorite poems. Uh, I don't have a copy. You can share mine. When the sun goes, we have the glow of sarlix. It is not the light of lights, but a counterfeit brightness. Fitting illumination by which slaves will learn their slavery. Who now could crawl back into the deserts of junk, having once known the light of lights? But, Nova, what is this light of lights of which the poet speaks? Well, I guess... It means intelligence. The light of lights, intelligence. No, it's not. It's love. The counterfeit brightness in the poem, that's intelligence. But the light of lights is love. It has to be. Now, class, before unification, how many separate territorial capitals were there? That's right. There were 77. It's a good life being a printer, working with machines. Machines will never let you down. What I really did is to transform a common pork cylinder into a meat puppy with flair, something the whole family can get excited about. Mmm. Excuse me. Could you tell me what kind of meat this is? What kind? Well, what do you mean? It's just meat. Oh. Something wrong? Uh, I'm, I'm not feeling so well. Where might I find some aspirin or medication? I don't know where you'd find something like that. I've never heard of it. Aspirin? Never mind. Oh, what you said about the light of lights is really beautiful. And smart. You're gonna love life. I am? Yeah. I think you're right. I guess I better go. It was really great to meet you. What? Um, the truck's coming down off the grade are kind of loud. Yeah, what's with those trucks anyways? They never stop. That's why we're here, isn't it? Huh? I mean, the mine. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, the mine. You really were born yesterday, weren't you? No. No? I was, uh... born today. Well, isn't this convenient? What <laughs> grander uh, to what we owe this unexpected honor. Sit down. I was attacked by a gang of your plasmoid terrorists in the Forbidden Zone. You couldn't be mistaken. My zone cruiser was found right outside of town. Which are they? I want them. I don't know. It, it couldn't be any of our people. People? I'm not lying. I'm encoded to tell the truth. You're welcome to a memory audit. I couldn't lie to you if I wanted to. Well, how do you know? Have you ever tried? No. That, in itself, is a lie. Aren't we glad we can feel pain, Governor? Pain warns us when we're in danger. It can even save our lives. <laughs> 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 
Now that was a friendly warning. What are we hitting? I have no idea. The can that this came in said good food. It's not bad. <laughs> Why don't you try some? I'm not feeling all that well, actually. I've had a fever and I'm sort of nauseous ever since last night. I'll be okay. It's probably just a 24-hour flu or something. Are you sure? Maybe you should lie down for a while. I'll be fine. Trace, you've been kind of quiet tonight. What's going on? I really love the people here. I want to warn you not to let your guards down. No matter how friendly these people are. Remember what happened out there on the highway. Our lives could be at stake. Grandma's probably trying to call us. I told Sean I was going to be back in time for our six-month anniversary. Don't you understand? We're never going to get out of this place. We're never going to see our home again, our friends, nothing. Oh, come here, honey. I don't want to see my big girl cry. Come on. Everything's going to be all right. I told you it was, didn't I? Do I ever lie to you? By the way, one of those soldiers is by the school today. Do you think they're looking for us? Until we find out for sure, we better assume that they are. Your next door neighbor? How do you do, Fred? I'm Hal Sterling. Won't you come in? Well, thank you, Hal, but uh, I don't know you and I don't trust you and I'm not about to come in your house. <laughs> Only kidding, but I had you going there for a second, didn't I? No, I'd love to come in, but I can't right now. The wife sent me over to invite you and your family over to dinner on Thursday night. Sorry to buy a welcome to our world. What do you say, along about 7.30, right after the news? All right, we'd love to. See you then. Citizen Syrah, Gad Ben, manufactured 702-771. Citizen Fouts owner, Rackros, manufactured 702-44. Citizen Croyd, Kelvin, DX. Citizen Atzerk, Blonde, manufactured 702-415. Uh, Commander Kroll, sir. Yeah, if I could see that. An emergency? What? I was attacked yesterday in the Forbidden Zone outside the Sarlax province. I was alone at the time. They were armed. There were five of them. Sarlax? There were replicants then? Yes, sir. Well, find them and terminate them. What's the problem? Manpower. These are extremely dangerous terrorists. I'll need reinforcements. And I'll have to act very quickly. The Sarlax radiation will become debilitating after a fairly short duration of exposure. <laughs> I'm moderately susceptible. Some people are, some aren't. Shut up, Crowell. Are you drunk? I'm not interested in your medical history. And why are you communicating through a non-security channel? Uh, they stole my access crystal. I need to borrow another temporarily. What? They were armed. I stole your access crystal. Then why are you still alive? They overpowered me. I was unconscious. My record of service is impeccable. From this moment on, you will have one purpose in life, one standing order to recover that crystal, no matter what the cost. Your reinforcements will be dispatched immediately. What is this thing anyway? There's a couple of them in the province, but nobody really knows what they are. There's another one over there on the side of that mountain. Is it just like this, the same thing? I don't know, I guess so. I've never been there. It's in the Forbidden Zone. You've never been there? I'm sure you've read the rule book, or haven't you gotten around to it? No, I... guess I kind of got distracted. A Forbidden Zone surrounds each of the provinces, and nobody except his own troopers are permitted to enter it, without permission from the capital of Imar. 
That's in another province, the capital. It's a province in itself. Well, what's it like? I mean, is it just like this? Of course not. Every province is completely different. But all of them are subject to Emar. I've read a lot about it. It's really fabulous. That eye seems like it's watching us. Wonder what these things are for. It is a mysterious thing. There's even a legend about it. They say a long, long time ago, people from other worlds would travel here, and they'd follow these monuments to Emar. Then what? They'd return to their own worlds as kings and sorcerers. Well, how would they get home? These people from other worlds? By following these monuments to Emar, but from there I don't know. It's just a silly superstition anyway. What would you say if I told you that I was from another world? I'd say love conquers all. an older proto? He's out with a friend from school. He thinks she's in love. Oh, isn't that nice? Well, let's eat. Daddy, aren't you gonna ask him what that glow in the sky at night is? Glow? Oh, you mean the Sarx radiation. It's beautiful, isn't it? Haven't you been out of the mine? Uh, no, I really haven't had the time yet. Mm -hmm. Did you say Sarlex radiation? I've been feeling rather ill lately. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you should have your unit checked. Starlight's radiation doesn't affect us, only humans. That's the good thing about it. It keeps the zone troopers from coming around here so much. Oh, did you see what happened? It was on the news. A group of terrorists attacked a zone commander in the forbidden zone outside this province. Oh, but here's the best part. It wasn't just any zone commander. It was Nuveen Kroll. Uh, Nuveen Kroll, at these... Sounds like a pretty mean guy. I don't like to speak ill of anyone, but Kroll is one of the worst. Oh, they made off with his access key, a class one crystal. A crystal like that, it, uh, it sounds pretty important. A person would have practically unlimited access with a class one crystal. Power sources, locked doors, information banks, travel, anything. They must be going nuts. They're gonna come down on somebody hard. Memory audit, Mr. Roach. You folks have never been through a memory audit. Well, the zone troopers won't be able to be around here that long. <laughs> the humans just can't take that old Sarlex radiation. Well, I suppose if they could, they wouldn't have any use for us androids. <laughs> We'd never been created in the first place. <laughs> what was it that old Eba Maple used to say? Um, mm. You know that famous quote of his? Uh, I'm embarrassed to say I'm not too up in our history right now. Mm. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Honey, would you get the book? Oh, right. I bet you pros know. I know, but I'm not telling you. <laughs> what a cute and quirky proto. <laughs> oh, here it is. Eben Apple said this over 600 years ago, and it's as true today as it was then. Quote, what you need, you have to make. The man was a genius. Why don't we lend him the book? The whole history of our race is right in there, Hal. From the first nameless, faceless robot to the full evolution of a plasmoid creation, every bit as fine as its human creator. When we get home, honey, we'll get started right away. In the beginning, there was one basic android model designed to mine the Sarlex. Because of their high intelligence, they became bored. And so they decided to recreate themselves in the image of their makers. From that one basic model over time, they differentiated themselves until they created an entirely human culture. And the people in the other provinces in this world are all human. Yeah. We gotta get out of here tonight. Apparently, you're more susceptible to the radiation than the rest of us. But if we stay here, it won't be long before we're all affected. I'm home. Trace, up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. wait. What, what are we going to tell Trace? That we're leaving immediately. No, I, I mean about the people here. He thinks he's in love with this 
girl, Nova. Trace, Smith. I'm not Smith. Take this. All the people here are androids. Smith, go upstairs, get some things together. Tell your sister we're moving out tonight. Oh, I was just starting to like it. Get here. your butt Finding upstairs, out, Smith, and android. do what I said. going on? Trace, the reason your mother hasn't been feeling well is that the mineral that they mine here gives off some kind of radiation. Pretty soon we'll all be sick. If we leave here, everything will be all right. Sarlacc's radiation has no residual effect. I mean, we're not contaminated or anything like that. What was Smith talking about? What did he say about the people here? We're pretty sure that there's some kind of highly sophisticated android. That's impossible. They are like us. I know they are. We know you've made some good friends here, but maybe leaving them won't seem quite so bad, knowing that they're not really human. They are human. I can't go. I won't. Tracy, you ready? Let's go. He's gone. He sure is. What do we do now? We wait. He knows we don't have much time. He won't let us down, honey. We were so lost in this other world that even this contaminated society of androids was a kind of haven. A place with at least the illusion of security. But we couldn't stay here. And we couldn't leave, not without trace. We could hear them out there in the dark, rattling around like armor-plated animals. Trace, what are you doing here? Can I come in? I've got to talk to you. Can't wait. Come in. What's wrong? you were like everyone else like all of us i don't know the answer to that we're lost we're from another dimension or something another world look we don't have much time we've got to get out of this province right away tonight my mother is sick from the radiation we'll all be sick i want you to come with us with me i can't Let your family go. We'll find a way to prevent the sickness. I can't desert my family. Don't you see? That's exactly what you're asking me to do. It's not the same. It's not? And you look at me like I'm some kind of machine. It's the same. I love you. That's real. These are real tears. If you cut me, I plead. It's the same. What makes me not human? created by humans. I wasn't. God.
God created you. You have a soul. That's what you're thinking. I want to show you something. All right, Flex 1, move it on up here. Check out this store. Flex 2, move it up. Each of these lights represents one of us. This is my soul. Show me yours. It's them. I've got to get home. Her. That's Trace's girlfriend. I'm Nova, a friend of Trace's. He's waiting for us. I I'm going to help you get out of here. Where is he? He's in the underground. I know a secret way out of the province as long as you have the crystal. Take us to him. Go get Smith. Poetry. An android that reads poetry. He seems to have a lot in his mind. His memory's clear. No reference to the incident. That's enough of that. Great right enough. I think you do it. Back in line. Back in line. Come on. June, you and Smith go first. Identify and explain. We're looking for a drugstore. There is no drugstore in this province. I guess that's why we're having so much trouble finding it. Check this one. Where do you live? D Street, one block over. This droid has no memory link. Sarlacon brain shows no record of its thoughts. Get me Commander Kroll. <laughs> Computer. But this thing runs the whole town. It also opens the old military passage into the forbidden zone. It's kind of a relic. Do you have the access crystal? Trace, guard the door. This was built by our founding father. It's a provincial shrine. But since the unification they've used it against us, to tamper with it is a death sentence. What are these? Um, those used to be passages into the forbidden zone. They, they, they're not passable anymore. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Sir. Sir. Terminated. Access clearance to security area confirmed. How may I serve you? Open the old military passage into the Forbidden Zone. I haven't done that in a long time. Well, do it now. Yes, Commander. D squad has already sealed two of the other passages. There's only this one and one other left. The computer room. This 
disturbances are coming dangerously close. You know that we can't stay, but you could come with us. I can't. My life is here. Nova, are you sure you won't come with us? We'd really like you to. I'll be okay. I know the underground a lot better than they do. Please, Nova, listen. They'll audit your memory and find out you helped us. Dad, we've got to do something. They'll kill her. If we erase the computer's collective memory, you'll still have your individual memory, won't you? Your personal memory? Yes. The memory audits won't be possible. I'd like to delete some data. The memory records of all the citizens of Sarlax. Activate delete function immediately. Also, in exactly one minute, close off the military passageway to the Forbidden Zone and don't open it again for anyone. Yes, sir. You should be safe now, all of you. Talk to your own. The door's going to close. They must have been here. This thing's an antique. Access cleared to security area confirmed. How may I serve you? Open, Open the, the passage. passage. Sorry, sir. I'm busy. What function are you performing? Every records of citizens being deleted. Stop! Cancel that command! Too late. Shut down the computer. He doesn't respond, sir. Commander, power is out all over the province. Everything is shutting down. On my life, I swear, they will be mine. In this place called Emar, someone could tell us the way back. Home. The word took on a new meaning. For in this other world, we were fugitives. There was danger here, a malice which pursued us. Whatever challenge or joy lay ahead, we would meet with a sense of adventure, because the family was together. That was our triumph, and our hope, and our true home.